Architecture is frozen music, said Goethe. So it is only fitting that when architecture suffers tragic damage, musicians pitch in to restore it to its former glory. Greetings from Mexico City. I am honored to be part of this extraordinary effort to restore the Cathedral of Notre Dame following last year's tragic fire. Notre Dame might be physically in France, but for centuries it has lived in the global imagination. Indeed, both music and architecture transcend their physical nature to capture a spot in our souls. I taught violin in Afghanistan, where the Bamiyan Buddhas have retained their iconic status nearly two decades after their destruction by the Taliban. In my home country of the United States, the Statue of Liberty embodies our dreams as she has since France gave her to us. The beautiful Palacio de Bellas Artes, where I perform as concertmaster of Mexico's National Symphony Orchestra, inspires pride as the highest expression of national identity. Of course, here in traditionally Catholic Mexico, we know well church's place in a nation's sense of self. On the other side of Bellas Artes, the Santa Veracruz church suffered its own fire in August. As I play for you today, I will share with you images of churches throughout Mexico as a gesture of solidarity. My National Symphony colleague, pianist Argentina Duran, joins me for an excerpt of the Sonata by Louis Vierne, who was organist at Notre Dame a century ago. As you listen to the long line of the violin floating high above ethereal figures in the piano, you can close your eyes and almost see beams of light wafting down from the famous rose window at Notre Dame. Soon, thanks to your generosity, we will all be able to see that light. We can never allow flames to extinguish in a moment that which hearts have built to last for eternity.